Hello friends, my name's Bryn, welcome back to my channel. Here on Bryn Darcy, I usually make videos about my life and study at the Australian National University here in Canberra, obviously in Australia, and what your life could be like if you studied here as well. So in today's video, I'm going to share how I manage my stress and anxiety uh, that kind of stems from studying at a university like the ANU. I know that a lot of my fellow ANU students uh, understand this feeling and it's sort of this certain uh, I'm not sure how to describe it but like a feeling of pressure to perform well I suppose especially when you compare yourself to other people uh, so the video will be outlined in a few short chapters you'll be able to find them below and basically I'm going to start by telling you uh, about my experiences with anxiety at the ANU and then I'm going to move on to some helpful tips about what you can do in order to uh, sort of mitigate or manage your anxiety um, a little bit while studying. Now I would like to start the video by talking about my experiences with stress and anxiety here at the ANU. Uh, well, a lot of my anxiety is uh, driven by a feeling of pressure to perform and I think that being in an environment with a lot of people who are equally as uh, intelligent as you and equally as uh, academically driven as you uh, and e equally as, I don't know, passionate about the same things that you are can lead to a lot of feelings of uh, pressure to compete uh, or a feeling that you are not really doing as well as someone else if, you, if you're comparing yourself to them. Uh, and I think that that was one of the things that was quite stressful for me, especially my first year. But it was mainly my feeling of pressure, like the feeling of pressure that I was putting on myself in order to perform to what I thought my standard was. Um, so I, especially in my first two years at the ANU, I was, I would say I aggressively pursued uh, high distinctions um, and I was just very, very motivated to get them. Uh, and I was also putting a lot of pressure on myself to do work that was to really high standard and nothing else would be acceptable to me. And now I really don't think that this is a good way to go about your university experience, obviously, um, but it definitely created a lot of unnecessary stress in my life simply from doing that. Um, I would also say that some of my uh, issues with stress stem from the fact that I procrastinate a lot so uh, and I leave a lot of my assessment tasks till the last minute. So therefore I'm obviously stressed about that. Um, but that one's a really easy fix um, and that one's definitely on me. Um, but apart from that, I would say that, yeah, a lot of my anxiety stems from performing well uh, and that often manifests as extreme anxiety in uh, test situations. And obviously um, I have been diagnosed with uh, general anxiety disorder and also um, OCD as well um, so it's not just like I so it's just like I'm feeling a little bit worried about these things but if you're just feeling a little bit worried as well that's okay um, I think that the main thing to remember in this situation is that you're not alone and there's a lot of people in the same boat as you I would now like to share some tips uh, that I wish I had known in order to mitigate that anxiety a little bit uh, while you're studying. So to start with, I would say reach out to your family uh, and friends and loved ones uh, and whoever else for support. I think that that is probably the most important thing when you're feeling a little bit stressed or anxious is making sure that you are getting uh, support from the people around you, making sure that someone knows how you're feeling uh, and you're just sort of getting those things off your chest is really important. And I think as well as that, explaining to uh, your teachers uh, or someone else you feel comfortable talking to at the university that you're feeling this way is a really important first step into finding resources that might help you, uh, finding professional services that might be of use or just getting some things off your chest. Uh, following on from that, I would recommend reaching out to a professional organisation, whether that be counselling at the ANU or the ANU Psychology Clinic or someone like Beyond Blue or uh, Lifeline or anything like that. 
uh, just reach out to someone who might be able to give you a little bit more support, a little bit more uh, tailored to exactly what's going on in your situation, things like that. And also with obviously a professional background uh, in mental health support. Obviously these professional services are able to provide the right support for you uh, and whatever your situation needs. But as well as that, you should think about reaching out to your GP, having a chat with them uh, and possibly going ahead and getting an EAP. So an EAP at the ANU is an educational access plan. Uh, basically an EAP is made to sort of level the playing field between you and your peers. So if you have a uh, disability or a health issue or a long standing condition or a whole range of other uh, circumstances, uh, it means that you are able to equally access uh, your exams and assessment tasks. Um, so yeah, having an EAP if you've been diagnosed with anxiety can be a really useful way uh, to sort of reduce those episodes during uh, exam or assessment tasks. It's always so important to remember that you are not alone in this situation. I think that so many students at the ANU suffer with uh, feelings of stress and anxiety. I think that you know, as I said initially, it's it's almost endemic in institutions that are quite uh, academically rigorous, I suppose. Um, people often report feeling quite pressured to uh, appear in a certain way, appear to be fine, uh, appear to be very successfully achieving uh, their goals and not really talking about uh, the feelings of pressure and stress and anxiety that they're often having. Uh, in order to meet all of those demands. So I think that just remembering that the people that you see every day uh, and the way people are behaving every day and the way people seem to be functioning very well every day is not necessarily, uh, like, it's not necessarily the truth, I suppose. That watching people online can often be a bit misleading in the sense that often you're just seeing, like, a highlight reel of their life. And I hope that I'm not portraying that. Like I try and be very open and honest about how I'm feeling and how things are affecting me. Uh, so hopefully you have seen through some of my videos that uh, studying at the ANU is not necessarily going to be, or studying anywhere really, is not necessarily just going to be like this very happy and, and great time with nothing negative going on. Um, so yeah, I hope that you found some honesty in my videos uh, through that and hopefully at least hearing one experience like my experience makes you feel less alone if you're in this situation. My final tip is taking some time to uh, care for yourself and self-care looks different for everybody and self-care is different for every situation. I think that, you know, we obviously all know the very uh, basic self-care tips like exercise and eat well, uh, go outside um you know socialize talk to people all of those sort of things i think that we're very well aware of that and i don't think there's any use telling you that because uh, i've been told that and i often don't follow that advice anyway even though i know it's so important um but i think that other self-care can be you know doing your assessments early doing the readings that you need to do even if you don't want to because it will make you feel better later so I think that figuring out what self-care you need uh, in the moment that you're in is super important. Uh, and even though that's not going to like remove the, the stress and anxiety that you're feeling necessarily, maybe it just uh, reduces it a little bit and makes it a little bit easier to cope with and manage. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know that I've been filming a lot of different videos lately. Um, hopefully this was one uh, that you've liked and that is useful to you, especially if you are in your first year and feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Remember to reach out to people if you need support and please remember that you're not alone in this. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will speak to you again on Friday.